coming. He's coming for us, I know it. I've done something now that he'll never forgive me for, but I had to. I can't risk my son's life anymore. He's too important. And he shouldn't have to see me at his stepfather's feet, begging him to stop. Begging him to stop beating me. Tell you how I feel? Sometimes I just want to die. I don't know where these feelings come from. They're uncontrollable. They just they, they come like flashes, visions of me being hit by a car then in slow motion, hitting the ground. I was uh, t uh, taken over and uh, no nothing could have stopped me. He was so beautiful, so so innocent. I, uh, I convinced him to come away from the park with me. I, I told him I was his uncle and that his uh, mother said it was okay. I, I took him back to my place. And everything was fine. We were talking, laughing. I'm not having an affair. I, I've always behaved obediently and, and been a good person towards him. And I don't know why he's doing this. I don't know why he hates us. I mean, he, he says he doesn't, but he must do. Why else would he punish us like this? The worst part of it is that it's feeling of relief. <laughs> Happiness that I'm lying there. Bleeding from my head, gradually dying. Really fucked up, I know. <laughs> we talked about the weather, about his mother, about where he goes to school, what kind of films he likes. I wasn't intending to lure him, I just wanted to talk to him, just to, you know, get to know him. I relate to kids better than I do to adults. They're fresh and uncorrupted by the world. But then he started to grope me and, and, and putting his hands inside of me. And I said, I, I really don't want to do this. But then he started to get frustrated and, and pushed me against the wall, roughly kissing my neck and, and biting me. He, he came home from the pub, drunk. My son was in bed and I... I had, a, I had a glass of wine in the sitting room. I, I normally have to have a couple of bottles before he gets back, just to be able to deal with the violence. The whole thing is just set up predominantly the same theme. I, I mean, I'm just worthless. People think I'm weird. I, I do wonder though, if, if I slip my wrist and let life just run out, would anyone give a damn? We were about a mile from the park, which I was relieved about because uh, I didn't want to be disturbed at all. And um, we played hide and seek, and then we went and got some food. And uh, I convinced him to come to my place and see my f selection of films. And <sighs> I told him I'd take him home after that. But then he restrained me, and he slung me to the couch, and I started kicking and, and punching him. And I punched his face as fast and hard as I possibly could. He's convinced I'm having an affair, but I'm so clearly not. How could I be? I'm housebound. He made me give up my job. He said that if I didn't, he would leave. And, and I didn't want that. I wanted a father for my son. So I gave up my life's achievements, my dreams. I often visualize the emotions of my family and friends. Imagine my funeral. I just cannot understand why people dislike me. I mean, I just can walk down the street and people are looking at me, cursing me, whispering things about me. I can't believe I'm telling you this, and uh, I don't know what came over me, but I just couldn't stop myself. And uh... he removed his belt, and he he belted me across my my face and my neck and he screamed shut up for shut the fuck up he beat me really hard that night he punched me to the ground and he was kicking and screaming at me i cannot understand what i have done so i closed myself away i don't want to see anyone i don't want to be with anyone i don't want to hear anyone 
It's most likely the safest thing to do. He didn't feel uncomfortable when I touched him, and uh, he... He wasn't agitated at all, and he even started to touch me. I told him this is what true friends do, and I asked him if he wanted to be my true friend, and, um... I can't tell you anything more than what I've already told you. What more do you want me to say? I didn't kill my baby. I didn't do anything. I swear to you. Uh, all right. I admit I got a problem, but who doesn't know her? No one was prepared to help me. People know what I am, what I'm about. I'm smackhead. Downright dirty fucking bitch. <laughs> it's there. Like a thorn in the back of my mind. Gradually infecting me. And I can still I can still smell him on me. My son came to the top of the stairs and he said, you leave my mummy alone. And he stopped and he said, I'm gonna go and sort that out and then I'll be back. So I had to do something, I had to do something. So I grabbed hold of the glass and I smashed it into his back. And you bring me here of all places. I've got even more risk now. They will come and get me. They will either take me away. You must let me go back to my home, it's important. Please, just let me go. A little later, he started to whine and then told me he wanted to see his mother and uh, I just couldn't let him go. I was in love with him and there was a true connection and um, it would crush me if I let him go. So I am, um, uh, I accidentally hurt him. He started to scream and shout and said that he wanted to go home and I tried to reason with him. I tried to, I tried to um, calm him down and then... No, I, 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 I admit I'm not a great mother, but, but I, I didn't even want this baby in the first place. I'm fucking interfering mother not wanting me to have an abortion. I can still feel the pain. You feel the pain of him inside of me. And I took a step back and, and he turned around and I, I thought he was really going to attack me, but he, but he didn't. He reached around and he felt the blood and then he just left. I didn't want my neighbours to hear, so I just... He would not stop screaming and... Um, I did love my baby. I did, but you, you got to understand me. It's not been easy. And he was just, just crying. Nothing would settle him. I, I was just going mad. And nothing would fucking settle him. And then I gave up. And I stopped fighting. And I stopped screaming. I can't believe I was so stupid to trust him. And I... I just let him continue. So I ran upstairs and I, I packed a small bag and I got my son and, and I called you and now I'm here. I just put my hand over his mouth and I just tried to calm him down and then um, when I took my hand away he just... he stopped and... Um, and he was dead and... Um, so I uh, took him over to the marshes on the other side of town by the park and, You'll find them by the uh, little monument. So I went out. Yeah. I went out and left my baby in his cot. I went out to sell. I just, I just needed a knit. Just, just a knit so I, I, I could go to sleep. You know what? 
that feeling where, where everything disappears. Where you feel normal again. Anyway. Um, couple, of, couple hours later, goes back home, brings back an ex for a session. Where do I go now? I want you to stop. I really do, but I can see him and feel him every time I close my eyes. I want you to just stop. But it doesn't. If he finds me, he will kill me. But I had to do something. I had to do something. I had to protect my son. I had to do it. Checked up on baby, we're okay. Must have exhausted himself crying and falling asleep. That night I got wasted and I had sex. Next morning I went on a come down. Ah, the hook. Mm. Didn't think about baby. I completely forgot about him and yeah. Felt nice. I can still smell his breath on me. Will this ever stop? Will I ever be able to live my life again? Maybe I went into his room and my baby was blue. Lifeless. Cold and lifeless, just lying there. <laughs> wrapped up in the I'm sorry. I'm just so sorry. I didn't intend to hurt him. I thought we were dreams. I thought we were fucking dreaming. Do I have to fucking continue? Do I have to continue? What more do you want me to say? I know, I know that I'm a bad mother, I, 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 can't, I can't take this now, will you, will you just leave me alone, please, please, please just leave me alone, I just, I just, 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 just do, just, do what you, you think necessary to do. Nothing matters to me anymore. Nothing at all. I don't know what came over me and the... What was gonna happen to me? 